Hi everyone, it's Kay here. Thank you very much for joining me today. I've decided that not being able to craft is not a good idea. <laughs> I've been doing a little bit of shopping. Anyway, I've um, online. Um, I bought this uh, packet of things from Sandy. I've bought from her before. And uh, for th she was getting rid of all of her stuff because um, she just wants to concentrate on making journals with lace and so she's got rid of a lot of the paper stuff so lucky me I'm happy to get a pack of paper and stuff so she's this is all in this envelope and I've got another bit that was in the rest of the envelope the parcel so there's this I'm, I'm keeping that because it's got a great size for a little um, embellishment pack of cards um, I've got all of the cards so I don't know whether I'll actually keep this or not um, it's actually a really cute size and that's all sort of got like a ready-made border kind of thing really so I'm thinking about that one so today I've got my um, arm sling on today so on envelope I might keep some of the envelopes as um, templates we'll see this little notebook that's cute Again, I don't know whether I'll keep it or give it to my granddaughter. Um, not too sure what this is, actually. It's sort of like a little notebook holder in um, vinyl. It's got all these little pieces of paper in there, so I'm not really sure what that is. Show us your smile whether it's a gift from a... I don't know what that is. It's really different, so it's all right. And there's this one, Jane Austen Notepad. I think if you bought this, you'd be disappointed because there's no pictures of Jane Austen in it, but that's great sort of muted uh, background for, again, for backgrounds for making things, embellishments and things. So just various bits and pieces, papers, dress book. This is pretty good because actually the paper in this is actually quite quite thick, so that's really good. That'd be, you could actually make a card. Oh, that's a good idea, okay. Actually, make a card just keeping it like that. All right, that's a good idea. Why didn't I think of that before? Sorry, I've got to be, be about a bit slow because I'm one handed. So, this piece of paper, there's a pocket in there. This is a little folder made with some papers. So, oh, it's actually also a good little folder. It's got lots of pockets in there. In there. I like the idea. Papers are lovely, but they're shiny, so anyway. This is a old Bible. It doesn't actually have a date on it. Um, but the paper is nice and um, grungy and not too, um, not too thin. I think they sort of did, I don't know why, they just sort of did my Bibles with this sort of like thin the paper, I've got no idea. Did I say there was no date? I'm just going to double check, it's got, it's got a name in it. So, yeah, no name, no date. So there's that. And there's all these like these little pockets, flip outs, and papers. And just different things. I like some of the papers that she's she's she sent me. I like this idea, this idea. So a bit of vellum paper. Lots of these kind of things, which is really good to so add to journals. So lots of those on there. a lot of work with some of these things would be good actually um, would like to try and peel that uh, flower off feather oh, sorry decorating I like the lace on that not too sure I'll just pull the lace off and get rid of the car because I like quite like the front of it I just not I don't know think think about it another one of those booklet things Bit of lace goes off, so off something. That's pretty, that's pretty. Yeah, that one there. And a bit of a panel of lace. It's 
sorry, it'd be hard to show you with one hand. A bit of lace on there as well. More lace on that one. I quite like that lace as well. Little book. Little envelope. Bit of paper. It looks like a little notepad. Got these little squares. Again, they'd be really good for keeping for um, making little. What do they call them? Oh, they don't call them embellishments. What do they call them? Clusters. And then they've got all of these invitations, very ornate deck invitations with envelopes to match. And I've actually I had to open this because my husband had to open it for me and pull the things out. Like I can't I can't pull. Um, these are genuine tickets, so that's really good. It doesn't say what year nineteen. But this is good. This was check but thing, 1935. That's awesome. It looks like it's written in, in, in ink, so that's really fabulous. That one, that little thing that she sent me. A bit of genuine um, ephemera. Put that down. Oh, this was a slide. This was some other stuff here. All of these things. Just different papers again. Never have enough papers, really, to add to sort of make things with. And I can't really decide whether we can open this one or not, but it's quite thick. So I think it goes like that, which is, a, which is different. I've not seen anything like that before. So that was in that uh, envelope. That, that envelope was in this in the post office parcel. So just go from this side and work backwards, <laughs> work the other way. So I actually had one of these books and um, it's really lovely to see that Sandy made some really lovely things with them. Uh, not, not, I didn't give her the book but uh, I had one of these books on my own and actually cut the flowers out. I'm sorry I did that now. <laughs> that was in the early days when I didn't really know what I was doing with junk journaling. Uh, and then they've got these. I'm not too sure. Like some of them, like there, that's plastic. That's paper. So can you? I don't know what to do with them. Little little tags, I suppose. But um, layered tags, maybe, or maybe they could even be used as making dangles. I don't. I don't really make dangles. I've never actually made dangles. So I'll have to see. Nice bit of uh, paper to fold it out. Like the picture on that. Oh, I'll it out. Sorry. <laughs> I'm glad maybe some embroidery, non embroidery books. And this has got all of these. This is just um, plain paper. So it's really nice. And a lot there because there's lots of these kind of things envelopes, envelopes. More envelopes. I love, I love the papers that she's used for this one. It's gorgeous. And I just love this idea. This idea here. So I might actually just take this bit off. See, she's got a nice little pocket there. Take this bit off to copy the idea. I just love that idea. I think it's fab fabulous. Is it? Um, oh, it's just hinged. Ooh, ooh, sliding. Ooh, just have to move something. Sorry. What's? Oh, this, 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 this. It's causing things to slide. Sheet paper. Lots of, like, lots of these kind of booklet things. Let's see. There's a belly band in. It's a lovely. That's a lovely ribbon that she's used. That's really lovely. Just off, diff, just so many different. Things so it's upside down. Okay. Envelope doily paper. Is that paper? That's nice. More paper. So cool, just collections. That's nice. Nothing on that one. That's nice too. I like that. I love that. How that sort of stitched and that's nice. 
That's nice too. I just love the flower on that one. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, I like the flower, but I don't know if it has to go over the best fine. We can work around that. It's pretty. I love this lace. I love the image as well. Lots of envelopes. This is really lovely. It's a pad of this sort of graphy top paper. Some index cards. Nice. How I like how that's sort of being folded over. It looks that's very clever use of a little bit of a scrappy book and paper. Must have had a book of one of these kind of there's a lot of these sort of kind of papers. There's all sewn in the middle of them. I love the laces on these, and she's like a booklet, and she's got uh, what do you call them? What do you call them? I don't know. And they've got all these little things here to peel up pockets. There, that's just that's lovely. Really love that one. It's a bit white back here. I don't know if I can actually peel it off and grunge it up a bit more, and or stamp it or something. Um, to remake it, I'll have to think about it. Of course, I can't do it now. <laughs> um, more belly bands than that one. Love that picture. That's lovely. That's a bit of coffee dyed paper, I think. It's really thick paper. I reckon it's an old um, Kaisercraft collection. I'm not too sure though she had any of on purpose because I've not seen anybody use this kind of like loose proof packaging but I love the ribbon so I'm, I mean I'm worried about whether just to chuck that or to use it as a like as a, as a bit of texture on a cluster. I love the little pink thing on that one. It's pretty pretty paper. A little Pretty than all that pretty paper, and then the other things I bought shopping online. This was on um, pre loved craft site, and I bought this collection, it's an older collection of Kaiser Craft Curiosity. It was always one of my favorite collections at the time, and I'm go I will make a journal with it. And uh, so I just like look, look at the paper, look at that paper. For instance, isn't it cool? I just love the colours of that. It's just stunning. She had quite a few of her collections for sale, this particular person, but I just bought these two. This one here, Mademoiselle. Again, I just liked like the colours, and I will use this one for a, a journal as well. So I bought those two as well. And then this was on for, for, oh, this was on a Facebook group site as well and I and I know I've got two so I'm being a bit greedy here this is my third one but um, I feel more comfortable now by catching one up <laughs> that's pathetic that's so pathetic and that, but you've all seen these Edith Holden books they're just gorgeous they are so gorgeous and this one smells a bit musty actually um, what's the date for this one 1978 the original person paid five dollars for it. Was oh, that a different writing? Hmm. Anyway, the person, you know, I mean, it wasn't cheap, cheap, but I mean, like, she asked what I what I paid for one another one, and, and but because you've got to pay postage, that's what adds up the cost. But it's, it's the postage. So now that I have three greedy of me. I'm going to be able to make a journal now using some of the papers from there. There, So that's my shopping for the moment. I've got more things coming. Dangerous staying home. I've decided not to be very much. Thank you very much for being with me today and um, joining me in sharing with the um, things I bought online from various people and I've got to see how I go putting stuff away with one hand. Well, you know, trying to do things without too much to restrain on my elbow. Thank you very much for being with me again. Sorry, I said that already. We'll see you again next video. Bye bye.